I was very happy when I bought a UPS. It was like a breath of fresh air for my computer. The model I used was BX1400-GR from a PC. When you plug in your PC with a UPS, you feel lucky. Because a battery backup and surge protector is perfect in case of power outages. But you know what they say. All good things must come to an end. When the battery LED flashes red and you hear a constant tone, you know it's time to replace the battery. So let's see how to remove it. Keep in mind the instructions will be for APC back UPS 1400 volt amperes model BX1400-GR. After turning off and disconnecting the device, use a standard screwdriver to pull the battery connector from the back. Then push the connector upwards into the unit until it snaps into place. The back of the unit has four screws, but one of them might be covered with a label. Go ahead and peel the label off. Now go ahead and remove the screws by using a Phillips screwdriver. Grab your unit and carefully flip it or turn it upside down. Now turn it so you can see the front panel. Use a slotted screwdriver and a plastic doorstop to detach the front panel. With the screwdriver you can push inside the hole located at the top. After loosening up that part of the front panel, push the doorstop in there until it remains fixed. And continue using the standard screwdriver to push inside the front panel edges. Also try to twist it, so you can detach the front part of your UPS without breaking it. Tilt the unit so you can easily remove the three screws located behind the front panel with a Phillips screwdriver. Detach the back panel.
put your unit back in its normal position. After detaching the front panel, you'll see a joint in the middle, indicating that the case has two main parts. Start detaching these as well with some standard screwdrivers. You can also use the tools to loosen up the long left joint. Turn the case and work on the other joints. Do that by slowly twisting the screwdriver inside the joint. Carefully grab the two main parts of the case and move them away from each other until they are completely detached. There are two cables connected to the battery. The red one is positive and the black one is negative. You will have to unplug them. You can take a few pictures beforehand, so you can know how the cables are usually connected and do a proper connection when you put the new battery inside. Keep in mind never to connect the red cable to the negative battery terminal. Now go ahead and unplug them one by one. And there you have it. The APC battery containing lead sulfate and sulfuric acid was removed. And here's what I had inside the case. Here's where the battery was. This is the power distribution board from the back of the unit. This is the main board. And this is most probably a step-up transformer with laminated iron sheets. It converts or transforms the electric current from low voltage high current into high voltage low current. And thus the transformer's output voltage will be greater than the input voltage while the intensity will decrease. The transformer can transfer electrical power from a source of AC current to your computer. And then the power supply unit from inside the computer converts clean AC power from the UPS into low voltage regulated DC power. 